everything and everyone that does anything, that includes anything, needs a leader. Everything needs a leader for something. Hitler was actually one of the better ones, even though it was for a bad cause. He persuaded millions of people to follow him and to make, and he persuaded a bunch of people that his ideas were the ideas to follow. <clears throat> Most of our presidents have done a very, very good job of leading our country and leading us and making uh, very, very important decisions. One of the most important ones and one of the better ones was Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> he was definitely the most influential, he's probably even the tallest. Um, Abraham Lincoln was the best president of the United States for these three reasons. One, Abraham Lincoln helped us through the Civil War. Two, Abraham Lincoln was an excellent public speaker. And three, Abraham Lincoln started the abolition of slavery. <coughs> the first reason is because, the first reason Abraham Lincoln is the best president of the United States is because he helped us through the Civil War. Although he hated seeing the death of 600,000 of his fellow countrymen, he wouldn't stop for anything just to keep the Union together. He was the commander in chief of the North. He made most of the tactical decisions and it worked pretty well. History.com, a website that tells about the history of people and events that happened, says that Lincoln was a leader who would have done anything to avoid the bloodshed except allow the nation he loved to be split in two. White House .gov, a uh, website that talks about all the presidents that we've had, says that Lincoln thought secession illegal and was willing to force, was willing to use force to defend federal law and the Union. When the Confederacy attacked Fort Sumter, um, Lincoln saw this as a war, he saw this as the beginning of the war, so he called on 75,000 volunteers to start the army. He was loyal to his country and he was loyal to the cause and just to keep the Union together that he was willing to fight the South, his fellow countrymen, just to preserve the Union. I have just told you that he wasn't afraid to fight for the, for the preservation of his Union and he helped us through the Civil War. The second reason why Abraham Lincoln was the best president is that he was an excellent public speaker. Whitehouse.gov quoted Lincoln in his address to the South, and he says, In your hands, my dissatisfied countrymen, and not mine, is the monumentous issue of civil war. The government will not assail you. You have no oath registered in heaven to destroy the government, while I have the most solemn one to preserve, protect, and defend it. In this quote, it's pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. He says that, basically he says <coughs> that, the South, he's like, hey, this isn't okay. Like, you guys have no right to attack, to attack the government. They're doing the best that they can for our country. You have no reason to attack us. While I have every reason and every right to protect it, to defend my people against you guys attacking us. According to history.com, a website dedicated to telling the history of people and events, they say that Lincoln's Gettysburg Gettysburg's, Gettysburg Address is regarded as one of the most powerful and poignant speeches in American history. Everyone knows that. It was a very short uh, speech. It was three minutes, it was 272 words, it was 10 sentences, and it was all just about um, the death and the sorrow and the grief caused by the Civil War. It was definitely the most powerful speech ever. Everyone remembers how he started it four score and seven years ago. In that point, I told you why Lincoln was a very influential man and that he was an excellent public speaker. The third reason why he, Lincoln is the best president is that he started the abolition of slavery. He wanted nothing to do with the slavery issue when he first became president. History.com actually quoted him saying, uh, during the war, saying, not only should blacks not be slaves, they should also be equals. This is pretty powerful at the time, coming from the guy who said that he wanted nothing to do with the slavery issue, and then later decided that he wanted to tackle it because he thought it was a good thing. 
the, the way he started the abolition of slavery is through his Emancipation Proclamation. He started this after the uh, Battle of Antietam in September, and he had gained enough confidence at that point to say the war is no longer about keeping the Union together, it's about abolishing slavery, it's about making every man equal. In that point, I just told you that Lincoln had started the ab abolition of slavery with the Eman Emancipation Proclamation. I have explained to you my three reasons why Lincoln was the best president of the United States. One, Abraham Lincoln started the Civil or helped us through the Civil War. Two, Abraham Lincoln was an excellent public speaker. And three, Abraham Lincoln started the abolition of slavery. Like I said earlier in my introduction, everything needs a leader. Everything. Anything that's done has a leader. Anything that has happened started with a leader. Leaders are powerful people. They need to be able to make good decisions. They need to be able to be strong enough to carry the people behind them. So here's to Abraham Lincoln for being the best president of the United States.